Nigeria remains the gateway to African entertainment. Yes, bro. Anytime I say this, I back it with facts. Some people proving how immature they are, they come to the comment section and they choose to insult instead of sharing their opinion as to why they disagree with that fact. But the internet will forever have people like that. You and I can't do anything about it. Yes, bro. Now, I want to share with you two videos why I'm saying Nigeria remains the gateway to African entertainment. And I know some people will disagree. Yes, I know you've heard uh, Lil Wayne, a Ghanaian actor, comedian, yes, who has invited some Nigerian stars to Ghana to, you know, shoot a movie. Now, he was interviewed on radio concerning the movie and honestly, the things I heard in the interview, I feel like, ah, I'm going to play the video and I'll talk about it. So, let's hear it. Chale, how are we? we? Oh, cool. Bye-bye, Michelle. Mm. Chale, congrats. I've seen, I've seen your, your moves. Since yeah. you, you've invited some Nigerians in, what are they here for? Oh, my child. I bought a movie in the cinema. So, and the Dusty asked, what are they here for? Luen is like, they are here to, you know, help me shoot a movie to sort of promote the Ghana movie industry. Basically, that's what Luen said. It's, you know, we said, we changed my connections there. Now, I said, we have to do my, 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 so if I'm shooting a movie that is worth being on Netflix, I need some people who are heavy in the game, some people who are like who have big names already in the game to come and help me achieve that goal. That is what Leo Wayne said. Problem is no our numbers. I will our numbers. Chat our numbers. We some more numbers. Now I'm working on so we have some numbers. Can't cry. Now so so now we're talking about numbers here. We're here. Into a a human a country called Ghana. Does that mean Ghana for MM? Ghana for Ghana. Said Nigeria for Nigeria. And the Dusty just asks, does it mean there is no Ghanaian in there? Lewen, he be South African, right? Okay. Okay. He just said he passed a four pet. I think I can't even say Ghana for. Just a collaboration. Yeah, yeah. I say artists are going to feature Nigeria and they're not going to feature South Africa. Yes, a person of continent like Accra. And then China, they put them all together. No. So Luen is like, this sort of collaboration is a musician collaborating, a Ghanaian musician collaborating with an outsider to sort of promote his music out there. That is what Luen is saying. Yeah. Yeah. But say, say collaboration, see, it may be a problem by Emma, I may have more by actors need be a umbe cross you over near there. And see, what I'm sure sign you, my way no more. Now, Andy Dusty just said something. Um... He said this sort of collaboration brought some ban on our actors going out there to, you know, act. Honestly, I don't know anything about that. If anyone has, you know, any information about that, please, you know, comment it. Let's learn. You know, let's learn, bro. Let's learn. And I'm all across you, now, Lewen is like, you can't say something like that. There are some Ghanaians being featured in American movies and all that. A perfect example is Ibrahim Atta, who is in a Beast of No Nation, who was in Beast of No Nation, and now he's doing so well for himself. He was in a Spider-Man, yes. So Lewen is saying, if there was a ban like that, it doesn't mean it will be like that forever. And then can I give you a numbers? I say we will be in this day. Or the case will be whoever boa. I mean, your numbers are so more. I can't want me so in the Musa Benyam Katra. Now, this is the point Lowen made that I want to emphasize on. Nigerians have the numbers. If we do it with them, it will go far. Bro, when we do it with them, it will go far. There is no sin in that. Bro, it is never wrong anywhere in the Bible, in any tertiary book, in any primary book, bro. It is never wrong. When you collaborate with someone with the intention of promoting your content, it is never wrong, bro. It is never, ever 
wrong. Now, this is what Mr. Logic is about to say. Oh, Ghana, why do you have Nigerians? The next thing you see, they'll be mocking us in the, in the movie. A country called Ghana movie. Why do you have Nigerians in there? The next thing you see, they will mock us in the movie. So it means that they will mock us if the, the movie does well. Nigerians will come and say that it is because of them the movie did well. Right? That is the mocking Mr. Logic is talking about. See, you should be careful when you are you are you are uh, you are you are scripting your 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 stories. No matter what he has in the script, this Nigeria, these are major players. They want to have some some level of control. Yes. So how do you? <sighs> is that how it is? When I have a movie, I have a script for you, and I say do it this way. The, the movie is about my country. Do it this way. And they say they have a say. Like, is that possible? I'm not in the movie industry. I'm not in there. Anyone who is in there should give us that information. You name a movie, a country called Ghana, and then have Nigerians in there. That's my, my little misunderstanding. You want to write a Ghanaian story? You do think if they are doing a movie called entitled A Country Called Nigeria, they will bring a Ghanaian? You think now, this is the point I also understand. Yeah. This is where Mr. Logic is also coming from. Nigeria doing a movie concerning Nigeria. What are the chances of them putting a Ghanaian in there? Probably um, to make, you know, reference to history or something. Maybe that is when... Uh, that collaboration will come in. But we've not even seen the movie for you to say it is not... Because there was a time where... Um, look, Ghana, uh, Nigeria and Ghana, like, we have s stories together. There was a time where uh, I heard, uh, is it Ghana, uh, Nigeria must go... Something, like, there was something, you know. I don't know what really it, what it was, but there was something like that, so, bro. All these contributed to making Ghana, you know, Ghana. It is a story. But some way, somehow, if um, you are making a story about your own country, you don't need to bring foreigners in there to make it possible. I think that is what Mr. Logic is saying. Yes, let's let's finish with this one. Oh, you got a Ghanaian. Good point. Now, you see, this... Uh, conversation yeah when you are a content creator and you create at the end of the day you need numbers to promote your content yes i'm very sure um Lowen bringing in these nigerians is a marketing strategy there is a role for all these actors from nigeria there is a role for them to play and i'm sure they will go by that role nigerians uh took um, a piano from south africa They've, you know, made it their own and they are promoting it. They are promoting uh, Afrobeat and Amapiano at the same time. When you mention Amapiano, we all know where Amapiano is coming from. We all know it is coming from South Africa. Yes, bro, we all know it is coming from South Africa. But here's the case, Nigerians are promoting it. Their numbers is doing justice to something that is from South Africa. Yes, bro. So... Lil Wayne is looking at the marketing strategy here. Nigerians have the numbers. When we do it on our own, it may not go out there. So this is a way for it to go out there by bringing in Nigerians who are big in the game already. Their movies are doing well on Netflix, bro. You don't need me to tell you. Go on Netflix and check for yourself. So when we bring these people, we collaborate with them, it will promote Ghana. At the end of the day, bro, Nigerians are in there, but at the end of the day, it is Ghana, bro. It is Ghana, bro. Yes, Nigerians were featured on the movie, but at the end of the day, a country called Ghana, bro, it is about Ghana. Bro, like, is it wrong for, uh, for, for collaborations like this? Like, I don't understand, bro.
like you see this whole I, I listened to the full um interview here it's about 30 minutes i just cut it down i just listened to the whole thing bro and for some funny reason i didn't see or hear any sort of support that will be given to Lil Wayne to make this possible yes bro i did like this uh mr logic man who was saying all this who had the point and felt like he had the knowledge and all that he wasn't talking about government helping him to you know promote this and make it possible like the, he always identifies the problem but doesn't find a solution to the problem always bro always man if you go collaborate plus somebody make the thing go well why say you no go do one it is not like the movie way like on an industry the movie is doing well bro it is dead that is the truth man it is dead so if this is a way to promote it, like resurrect it again, why don't we do it? You say it is about Ghana, so we could put only Ghana, Ghanaian actors in there. How many Ghanaian actors were they? How many they now? How many you know now, bro? How many you know now? Yes, there are a lot, but how many you know now, bro? How many you know now? Now, make we move to the second video. There is a video of a comedian, Juarez, a Ghanaian comedian, who said um, he went to Nigeria and connected with Nigerian comedians. And, bro, the numbers he was mentioning as to what his content, you know, derived, it was crazy. Let's watch this. Uh, Juarez, uh, we know you've traveled to Nigeria at some point to, you know, go uh, connect, network with other our content creators over there and I mean better your craft as well how would you say these things um, you know has helped you because this is an investment you decided to make and did you even make any returns after going all the way to Nigeria to do all the things you went to do okay so um, going to Nigeria we are all under one management myself brain Jota, Sabi news and all of that so what happens is that we are under management of monetization that is where the Odogu money comes inside. Mm -hmm. So aside being a content creator where you wait for people to bill you on shows and pick you as influencers, sometimes being an influencer self is, is quite difficult coming to the understanding and agreement and all of that and what they need. You see, it is difficult when you live in a country where most people don't understand what content creation is about. Yes. This guy does videos and when you go under the comments bro it is disgusting it is that pull pull me down syndrome or what what do they call it the pull you down or bro it is crazy man when the people in a country don't understand what content creation is about i'm not saying Ghanaians don't but see i can say Majority of online users don't understand what content creation is about, and it, it is crazy, bro. I was actually representing Ghana out of all the content creators for Content mm. Creators Summit. To talk, Ghana is not a country which is added to the monetization right. list. That I know. You understand? Yeah. So, yeah. Because Ghana is not a country that is added to the monetization list. Honestly, I don't know anything about that. Common, common PayPal, we don't even have a head office mm. to withdraw money. Mm. So we are all dealing with other countries like Nigeria, having another management somewhere who handles your page in terms of content creation. <sighs> Bro, you see, collaboration is necessary. It is very necessary. The one thing Ghanaian will say is Nigerians have the numbers. That's why they are doing well. Yes, they have the numbers. Let's utilize these numbers Nigerians have. Bro, these numbers, they are to our own disposal also. Let's use this. Let's take advantage of those numbers, bro. It is not a sin anywhere. Let's use these numbers to our advantage. And I love how current content creators are using those numbers to their advantage, including me. Bro, I don't go come sit here, then do anything to get two views, two likes, then go sleep. Bro, I they take data, they upload. 
data be very expensive. At the end of the day, I need to get my content out there. Where the traffic is, that is what I will create my content about. And you see, the funny thing is, you will come sit here, someone will go to the comment section and talk, say, you the kiss somebody in ass. I the kiss your anus ass. You see, sometimes it is, it is annoying, bro. Yes, it is, a, it is very, very annoying. Someone who doesn't have any idea will come to comment section and just say anything anyhow. You pick someone like um, Emotion Controller, DJ Paco Rich. Uh, there are some few, is it let's talk about it? Not Kojo Sheldon. Kojo Sheldon started, you know, years ago. So when he came up, I would say um, he, he was already doing Ghana, 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 and people, you know, you see, that's, the, well, that's one thing about Ghana. When you come in and someone is already in the game, it is hard for some Ghanaians to accept you by doing what this person is doing. Bro, it is not the same for other people. When these YouTubers I mentioned, when they started, most of us who were doing Ghanaian content, but you see, our numbers changed when we started doing Nigerian content. When we started doing Nigerian, bro. So, you expect me to stop doing this? It doesn't work like that, bro. At the end of the day, we are looking at the numbers. The numbers will promote you. And when the numbers promote you, where are you coming from? You are coming from Ghana. You are promoting Ghana indirectly. It is simple as that, bro. There is no sin in this. Because of these things, when Nigerians see it, they go like, Ghanaians hate Nigerians. Which is never true, man. It is never true. Sick of one person in idea, it they cover every Ghanaian now. Say, sick of what this person talk, it means every Ghanaian they think this. Which is wrong, bro which is very wrong. Once again, Nigerians have the numbers. Let's utilize those numbers. Let's use those numbers to our advantage. My fellow Ghanaians, it is not a sin anywhere. Thumbs up to Lil Wayne. Thumbs up to Ghana. Thumbs up to Nigeria. Thumbs up to Africa. Let's get it. Daniel. I'm out.